Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is JC, if you haven't seen my face before, and today is a reset video. Every now and then, I just need a reset. So I'm gonna be spending the next week getting organized, doing various things, so I can just head into a new season feeling refreshed. Let's get started. First up, I wanna do some cleaning, and I walked out into my living room this morning. Mm, okay. I mean, it may not look that bad, but there is just so much like clutter going on. So I just want to tidy it up. I mean, I'm going to have to do this several times, probably just the few days that I'm filming. But yeah, this needs done ASAP. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright next thing I want to do is tackle my bathroom. It isn't that bad as far as like last week I just wiped down the counters and stuff, but it needs a little bit of TLC. The counters have become cluttered since then. I've used it to hang up some laundry that I needed to air dry. So it just needs, it needs a cleaning. That's what we're going to do today. The next thing I need to tackle is my fridge. Now, a few days ago, I did go to the grocery store and honestly, it was such a good time. I was feeling so good, fresh, healthy, all those things. Then I got home and I had no motivation to put anything away. So I just like shoved everything in the fridge and it looks like I did just that. So I want to just take everything out, wipe down the surfaces, organize it, and just also pick up my kitchen. I just have random things laid out and it'd be nice to just clean some surfaces, so let's clean my kitchen. There might be a bit of paper left under the pool of coffee. Try to remember what I wrote and you just laugh. We better have a talk, think it might last until it's dark. When the candlelights are out, I really think it's goodbye. Okay, it is so much better now. I think the biggest thing is just, I can see everything that I have. That, that's the important thing. Okay, the fridge was definitely the main thing, but I just need to pick up my kitchen. I just have random things out. I need to take out the recycling, wipe down surfaces, all of that. You lock the door, I'm lying helpless on the floor. It's how we spend our days, it's tragic in so many ways. I stumbled to the door, I couldn't take it anymore I took a leap of faith and then I was gone I didn't love you anyhow Now I'll make each day count 
Okay, I feel so good. Everything is looking so clean now. My fridge is clean. My kitchen is clean. Next up, my closet. Okay, I have some laundry going on, so I'm starting this clip out here to avoid all of the loud noises coming from my washer dryer right now. But yesterday I went to Target because I needed more hangers. I definitely thought I was getting a dresser much sooner than I am, so I want to just maximize my closet space. It's relatively organized now, but it just needs some TLC, so that's what we're going to go do. Okay, like I said, I have laundry going on in the background, so sorry about the noise, but you can see the top of a pile here. I've been doing laundry and instead of putting them away, I've just been like throwing them on a pile. So that's what we're tackling. I'm going to be putting away all the clean laundry I have along with reorganizing, well not majorly reorganizing, just tidying up the space that I have now. This first side is what I consider like you should wear these out in public clothes. Like it has all my like normal tops and bottoms and then like baskets for like socks, bras, underwear, things like that. And then on the other half is where I have like pajamas, athletic wear, sweats, hoodies, things like that. So this side, it just needs to be tidied up in what's clean now and just like put it away. It's the other side that I need to mess with a little bit to add more space on top, like actually utilize the space on top. So I'm gonna start putting away clothes and this will be so good. I've been putting this off. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how much of a difference it really looks to you, but for me it is. It's just, it's a little less cramped. I spread things out, hung up the things that were clean that need to go over here, but now the big chunk is on the other side. I can't shake the simplest feeling Beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Okay, I'm filming this next bit on a Sunday, which just feels perfect to be doing all of these tasks. The first thing is I need to wash my bed sheets. Okay, while my sheets finish up drying, I want to take a moment to talk about goal setting. So I am someone that sets annual goals. Like They're more overall pictures like, hey, I want to have implemented this by the end of the year. I want to improve on this throughout the year, things like that. And then I was using weekly goal setting to kind of build more habits, but I fell off of that in the last few months. So it's something I want to get back into. And if you follow me for a while, you know that I used to use this anecdote planner and there's a weekly planner with these daily spreads. Let me show you a blank one. So page one has like a weekly plan with some stuff. And then each day has this format. And I just found it so easy and perfect for me. So I like being able to spread out each of my days and seeing like all the meetings I have for each of those days, a to-do list for a specific day. And it just, it helps me. I missed doing that. And so I'm bringing it back and I just filled it out for this week where I just put in different meetings I have when I'm on certain shifts for contracts. If I know when I'm supposed to be uploading a YouTube video or when I hope to be doing that and just different to-dos on each of those days. So it helps me with just planning that. And I definitely miss having a physical planner because I do have Google Calendar and I do have a social media calendar through Canva. And both of those help me. But sometimes I just don't want to be on my phone and I don't want to have to rely on technology for me to kind of remember what I need to be doing. So I miss having a physical planner. I want to bring it back and it just felt so nice to fill that out today. And then to go with this, I just got a mini notebook by them. Oh, it's so cute. It's like mini me. And so this is a small notebook that just has like lines, just blank lines. And what I want to use this for is when I do my like 
daily to do's so for this it's kind of like big picture to do's like this video is being posted this day so the day before like make sure it's uploaded but on my phone my notes app I will write like a bunch of goals for the day like it'll be like wake up at 8 a.m make sure you eat breakfast do journaling reading like kind of these daily things and I want to use this for that when I don't want to be on my phone so I just want to write out my to-do list for the day and just you know make bed do laundry things I don't really want in a planner like this I think that's just going to be helpful for me and it's so cute having them together the other thing I kind of want to implement back into my routine is exercising so I do walk pretty much daily but I haven't been doing a bunch of like exercise to really get my heart rate pumping so I want to start this week by working out three times this week I think instead of just jumping at 100% and being like do a 10 minute workout every single day like I just know myself and if that doesn't happen I'm gonna be so down on myself so I'd rather say like exercise three times this week and like with the intent of elevating my heart rate Okay, my sheets are clean, bed is made, and now I feel like I can actually clean the rest of my bedroom. It's not that bad, it just needs a little bit of tidying up like the rest of the spaces did. So I just have random things across the room that just, they have a space, I just need to tidy up. Okay, everything is looking so much better, just tidy, look. My space is clear. Like I said, it really didn't need that much. It just needed the extra minutes to put all the little things back where they belong. Okay, I feel like it's only right that after spending a Sunday cleaning up your bedroom, washing your sheets, you gotta take an everything shower. Let's go. I feel so good. Like nothing beats an everything shower. Nothing. I just blow dried my hair halfway and then I'm gonna let it air dry and continue on with my evening. Okay, I feel for the most part we have really targeted my environment in this video. And then we kind of took a turn yesterday where I touched on setting up my planner again and taking an everything shower that's just like uh like a physical body reset, which feels so nice and so I kind of want to wrap up this with two more things that kind of help my mental health so every day that I've filmed this video so far I have been journaling but I journal every day and it helps me so much I want to make a habit of it of making sure I journal every single day I kind of go in waves of it where sometimes I'm journaling every day for months and other times I'm doing it like once a week and then like I'll skip a month and then I'm back doing it every day so for the last few months I have been journaling Definitely several times a week. In the last month, it's been like every day. And it just feels nice to write and get in the habit of it. Sometimes I'm just writing about my morning and how I'm feeling that day. Or sometimes it's like I'm excited to have a productive day. Or wow, this day did not turn out how I expected it to. Like sometimes I write a page. Sometimes I'm only writing a few sentences. But it's just kind of building this habit for myself. So it's always there if I need it. And if I am having a stress day or I do need to just kind of get something off my chest, I already have this built-in habit where I can use this to help me. So I haven't journaled this morning yet. So let's do it. Okay, and the last thing I want to do is like update my Google Calendar and my social media calendar. Some things are updated in one place and not the other. So for my Google Calendar, it has all of my work stuff, like all the meetings, any shift I'm on, anything related to that. But then I have additional to Google Calendar, like my personal calendar on there. So I can like, turn that off on and I update that based on that social media calendar. So I just kind of want to make sure both are in sync and good to go. I really like 
like how I structured this reset video because I feel like I often try to do it in like a 24, 48 hour period. And while on video, it may appear like a reset, it just leaves me very like overwhelmed and exhausted by the end. So I spread this out over four days, like a Friday through Monday where I just targeted certain things each day. And it really felt like a reset. Like I just slowly tackled all the things I wanted to do while also being able to do other things like on the weekend and on a Friday and even today starting off my day. So it was just such a nice, true reset. So that's something that I recommend for you if you are wanting to reset in any way. Maybe it's a monthly reset. Maybe it's also just kind of a refresh for a new season. Kind of just give yourself time. Like just structure it where you're just tackling a couple things each day. And I swear it will make the difference. Because I can tell you right now, I'm feeling so rejuvenated and just reset and refreshed heading into a new week. Yes, today, but also just kind of that every few months you just need something. And I feel like I got it and I feel good. And I want to thank you so much for joining and I will see you in my next one.